my name is Evelyn and I am a mom of three-year-old Esther, two-year-old Deborah, and six-month-old baby Joshua. Lately, I have been having a lot of issues with my sweet two-year-old. I say sweet because she has two sides. She's very sweet and loving and cuddly. And she acts out and she's violent and she's mean and she's a bully. So, I'm dealing with terrible twos and middle child syndrome at the same time. And as much as I try to give her the attention that she needs, um, I think she still kind of feels ignored or lost in the mix um, with her sister and brother. Well, she's my most difficult one for leaving the house. She will run into the road if I allow her. So I use baby gates and my own, um, my own hands to guide her to the car. She cannot walk to the car by herself. She has to walk with me. Um, because she likes to run away. She also, during diaper changes, thinks it's funny to run away without pants on and kick me and kick me and kick me because she doesn't want pants. Um, when her sister has a toy that she wants, she will take it away or hit her or bite her. And a lot of this is normal two-year-old behavior. This is how two-year-olds behave. Um, is it acceptable? No. There's still consequences for bad behavior, but it helps to understand that two-year-olds behave like this a lot of times. She's also um, getting better and better at communicating, which is a big help. And I honestly, I believe by the time she's three, she'll be doing a lot better. Um, but anyway, I wanted to make this video to say, um, I was really convicted recently when I was talking to my aunt. My aunt is a middle child of three and Deborah is my middle child of three and she's shown some, showed some light. She has shown some light on a new perspective for me of how my little girl feels. She said, um, when was the last time that you spent time with just Deborah or took Deborah out to the grocery store by herself and that was convicting because I've taken Esther by herself and I've taken baby Joshua by himself but because Deborah is more difficult I've not taken her by herself and so I found that really convicting I have tried two times to take her by herself and ended up taking her sister along as well because um, both of them cry that they want Esther to come as well so I say you know what Deborah if it's your one-on-one -on -one time and you want your sister with you then she can come. Anyway, but um, I've been trying to give that individualized. Beautiful. I've been trying to give that individualized positive attention to Deborah um, so that now she's acting a lot more. She's showing more of her sweet side and less of her mean side. And um, we've been doing agamuggas. We call them agamuggas from Daniel Tiger where we rub noses. Agamugga. And tickles. And doing a lot more laughing and um, positivity rather than negativity. Also, staying home too much can be a negative thing for us. That's beautiful. Thank you for showing me, sweetheart. Do you want to show it on the camera? Come over here. Show your picture on the camera. <gasps> That's beautiful. Good job, baby. And gray. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. That's and yellow. So funny. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, being a mom. I'm going to take a picture of the camera too of my green fish. She loves that green fish. My goodness. Um, Deborah recently has um been doing a lot better at sleeping in her own bed so that's an improvement and um, being more cuddly and sweet and that's nice. Dapper, do you want to come up here baby? I try to let my kids know how smart they are. Um, here's a tip. 
Don't call your kids negative names like brats or monsters or monkeys <laughs> or anything negative because they will live up to your expectations and to your name calling and they will behave that way. Very good. Thank you for telling me that, sweetheart. It's also important to listen to your children so that they feel heard. Um... I'm going to have to go in a minute because Miss Deborah doesn't want to walk up the stairs by herself. She needs her mama to come hold her hand, even though she knows very well how to walk up the stairs. She wants me to come down and help her out. So anyway, um, I tell my, I call my children Angel, Sweetheart, Honey Bunny, Cutie Pooty, Sweetie Peedy. Um, we call Deborah Piquita which is sort of a made-up word combination of Spanish words, um, meaning little one. We used to call Esther Lilita, which is like little Lily. And baby no. Joshua, baby Joshua, we call him our golden child because he always behaves. My Esther Your Esther Cita. She's little Esther. All right. Well, Deborah needs me. Um, so when you're a mom of little ones, don't forget your little ones in the middle and don't forget that one-on-one -on -one individualized time. It really does help to give them positive reinforcement. My do color on my right. do color Thanks. on paper 